Right, I've come down to Sagres today to put some water in the pond because I haven't managed to get down last week. I had too much to do, but uh, I haven't had any rain and the animals have drank about 300 litres out of it, which I've had to put in this morning, which is good. So now the pond's full again. I've set up the hide. It's the only day I've got to come down here today, even though it's overcast, as you can see. But uh, hopefully, it should give us a little bit of dappled light and maybe I can get a bit of photography done so I've really missed it last week and we've got some rain coming in tomorrow and the day after again so it looks like it's the only chance I'm gonna get so I'm gonna make the most of it anyway if you could please remember to subscribe to the channel uh, it helps the channel grow um, hit the like button and leave a comment underneath I'd love to thank Isabel, who's been helping me out with the food every month, my sponsor. The birds are just chomping through it amazingly at the moment. Obviously, being winter and coming up to spring now, it's getting, they're just eating so much, it's incredible. Anyway, I'm gonna get in the hide, which I've got set up, and we'll see how it goes. Well, as usual, I've got in the hide, and before I've even zipped it up, the birds were here taking the food. There's already a green finch down here. It was actually four just now. There we go, going over to the pond. And uh, a couple more down the front here. As I said, the food at the moment is one of the most important things for them, along with the water, which is because it's drying up in the area already with no rain. The little bit of rain we've got coming tomorrow, hopefully, will help them out, but uh, I don't think so. Not unless we get a lot more rain. We've got a bit of a drought this year again, which means the pond is going to be even more necessary. Anyway, they're enjoying their food now. There's quite a few up on the feeders as well. There's so many frogs in the pond at the moment as well. Even though it's a cloudy day, I can still get some pictures. The ISO is just gonna be very high, that's all. We'll see what happens though with the pictures. And little stone shots come down as well. With this new camera, it's actually very good. The I, I can put the IS up to 12,000 and still get a good picture without, a, without any grain in the picture, which is actually superb. And the filming, as you can see, even in this no light at all, hardly, is quite bright. It's, it's amazing, this new camera. This is the D850. I can take a good picture up to about 12,000 ISO, which is actually very low light conditions. So, as you can see with the filming though, it's beautiful. One of the black bird has come down as well. Oh, we've got a Thecla's lark over there as well. Oh, he's just gone over there as well. Already quite a few different birds come down for the food. Oh, I don't know whether you can hear that, but uh, let's see if I can, where is he? Where is he? He's over here somewhere. Oh, where is he? Hopefully it'll come to the pond. It was a common cuckoo, I could hear it. Well, I don't know whether you can hear it. I'm gonna see on the video in a second, but hopefully you could. Oh, beautiful. This was calling in the background as well. It's a beautiful hoopoe. We don't often get this one. has come down, blessed us with his presence.
just flown off. We have three of the baby stone chats, or the young ones here. They're feeding on their own now. Although if the parents come down, they still start to beg for food. But uh, they're actually feeding on their own already. Beautiful. Already getting old enough to look after themselves now. But they're still, these three are still with their parents, but uh, as I said, they're feeding on their own already. Beautiful. You can still hear that woodpecker banging on the tree in the background, but uh, as of yet, he hasn't come to the pond. A little meadow pipit turned up here. Oh, that's nice. Haven't seen one for a while. He's gonna, looks like he's going down to the pond for a... No, he's jumped back up again. Where's he gone? Well, out of use. Jumped up into the tree behind. Little meadow pipit. Haven't seen one for the last couple of times, so nice to see him around still. He's just come down to the front of the pond. Seems to be deliberating whether to have a drink or not, but uh, we'll see. Oh, running around. Oh, here's something that's quite interesting to watch. Oh, it's come out. The, um, the sparrow was just having a dust bath there. <laughs> oh, I believe I've got a tawny pipit up here. The long beak and the elegant legs. I can't quite catch him out, but I believe it's a tawny pipit. Yes, it is a tawny pipit. It's just come down to the front of the pond. Beautiful. As the sun's just starting to break through the clouds a little bit, I've got a little break in the cloud bank and uh, all the frogs have just started to climb out the pond to the side to get a bit of sunshine. There's about five or six of them here. And the same on the other side of the pond. There's so many frogs around at the moment. As the sun's coming out, we've just got a couple of chiff chaff turned up. Ah, little goldfinch has turned up for a drink finally. As the sun comes out, these seem to come down a lot more. There's another one up in the bush, but this one's just staying still in the pond, so I thought I'd get you a nice shot of him. Lovely. I love the goldfinch. Normally there's a lot more, but there seems to be very few this year. Oh, there we go. There's something unusual for this time of year. Look at the orange legs and the beautiful pale belly. It's a willow warbler. Wow. It's a bit, bit early for this time, for this year, so anyway, it's a nice register. First one I've seen this year. Absolutely beautiful. You can tell it's the willow warbler rather than the chiff chaff because of the pale body, the pale front, and the orange legs, so beautiful. We've got a beautiful male serin up here. I had a female up there, but he just chased her off. He was trying to make a show for her. <laughs> And she flew away, so beautiful though. Lovely, that's like a canary almost, these birds. We have the frog here in the front. If, if we're lucky, you see him trying to, he comes out, or some of them come out, and you'll see in a second, he'll probably make a jump and eat one of the ants that comes in front of him. There we go, so I think he's gonna do it now. There we go. They're so quick though, their tongue comes out. I've tried to photograph it, but it is so quick. It's almost lightning fast, their tongue as it comes out to catch one of these ants. There's a couple right in front of him now, you might see it happen. Beautiful. It's all part of the, of the nature here. 
the ants feed the frogs, the frogs feed the snakes and the, and the birds. <laughs> Beautiful. Cycle of life here. Okay, that's it for today. It's been a wonderful morning. I had the first willow warblers come through, which was wonderful. Really surprised to see them this time of year, so very early. Um, and then we've had the beautiful hoopoo, which you saw, which was absolutely wonderful to have him at the pond that early. Well, as I said, it's just been an amazing morning today. And uh, hopefully now, soon the first migration, the early migration, the spring one will start next week and a lot more of the warblers will come through. Still haven't seen any thrush this year, except for one red wing, which is really surprising. But uh, other than that, it's been a beautiful day. Anyway, please remember, if you enjoy the video, to subscribe to the channel, um, leave a comment underneath, and share it if you think anyone else would like it. Have a wonderful day.